before we get busy with react router, I can see that we are already doing a lot of changes to our project, and I wouldn't want to lose my changes as well as I would like to right away set up the continuous deployment where everything that we're gonna be pushing up to the GitHub is gonna be displayed on Netlify anyway. And for that, we already know our path. We already know the spiel that we're gonna head over first to the GitHub. GitHub, within the GitHub, we're gonna be looking for new repo. I'm gonna click here on the icon, the new repo. Let's come up with some kind of name. I'm gonna say React uh, Recipe Recipe App, something like this. And then this is gonna be my repo in the information i'm going to be looking for the remote url just so i can add it in the github for the first time we're going to be committing any kind of changes i will going to stop the dev server let's do clear again let's add git in it so this is going to initialize this as an empty git repo then we're going to be looking for git add so i'd like to add all our files as well as the message which is going to be very simple git commit with a message of first commit and here i'm going to be looking for my remote url so i would like to copy and paste whatever we got back from the github that should do it and now last but not least i'm going to write git push you origin and we're going to use the master in this case the moment we do that if i'm going to refresh the page in the github at the moment nothing is happening let me do it one more time and Obviously, successfully, we have our first commit. Once we have everything in the GitHub, why don't we get Netlify to work? I'm going to say Netlify, not Metlify, but Netlify with an N. I'm going to log in. And obviously, we can see that this was our last project. And let's write a new site from Git, since right now we have everything on the GitHub. And then we're going to be looking for our project. And obviously, in our case, this is going to be React. And let's see what React applications I have. React person list, recipe app. I think this should do it. This is going to be my application. And then I'm going to say deploy the site. I'm not going to be sitting around and waiting whether the Netlify is going to deploy the site. I think we should already know that everything is going to be working out. Maybe once in a while we can check it in the browser window. Man, for each and every video, I will going to be doing my commits again. And in that case, again, you can access the source files. However, be careful because later on, once we start working with the recipe API, and by the way, I'm going to obviously let you know that, but uh, the moment we're going to start working with the recipe API, we're going to get our API key. And that's something that we're going to have to set up the ENV file where I don't want to commit to the GitHub my information about the API. So don't skip ahead and don't just start committing everything. The moment you're going to start working with API key, uh, please follow along the videos where I'm going to show you how we can hide that information so this is not displayed for the rest of the world to see. And that would be my basic setup. I can close the GitHub. Maybe this is done. Yeah, actually it is. So I can head over to the site settings. And let's try uh, which name is already taken. So let's say React Recipe Application. And let's see whether this is going to work. No, obviously the name is already taken. Why don't we do food to fork an application of course as always typing and talking is definitely not my strong suit let's write here what we have so save and awesome this worked actually really well we have our application obviously the moment we're going to open up there's going to be nothing there just a hello from recipe app but i think we are on the right path and i will going to leave this open we will going to have general settings we have this one that we have in a local browser. And you know what? Maybe we don't need it. Or you know what? Yeah, maybe just leave it as the last one. Font awesome. We don't need Google Fonts. We don't need any more recipe API. I do want to leave it, the food for work, as well as the final application. I'm also going to leave it open. And yeah, I think now we can finally start working on the React router.